Hello and welcome to MBS's first tutorial video of the year. So currently I'm just going to show you how to pull on, pull on the little lens. So you just pick up your lens and you just put it in t into the camera and you just twist it until you hear a click. I'm just gonna open up the screen now and then this little button here just turns it right on. If you're wanting to change your camera from picture to record, there's this little slider up here and you just twist that to the record button and that's very simple. At this point we recommend using manual and it's right on this little dial here You can because you can choose your aperture, ISO and shutter speed. So we're gonna go through the more technical side here at the moment and we're gonna have Sure speed, aperture, and ISO. So sure speed basically is how long it takes to for the shutter to actually take something. So at ISO, you can go from between 100 and 1600 is usually kind of the recommended thing. Um, because so let's say if you're in a very 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 dark area, you will bring up your ISO to a very high point. So then it's much brighter and you'll be able to see things much easier. Now, for example, this room we're in currently is a bit dark. So if we're on, for example, 800, that should do perfectly and we'll be able to see everything perfectly um, without any issues. And now, finally, to aperture. So going back to shutter speed, um, let's say if you have a low shutter speed, you want a much higher aperture because that'll kind of make up then for all kind of the lost lighting or whatever and will really kind of balance out the image. So with metering mode, you'll see we have quite a few options here. So first of all, we center weighted. This is kind of the classic way of filming. It's been what we've been doing since day one. So this space is that the most important part of the shot is the very center. And then we have spot and partial. Now, these two are very similar. So basically, your camera uses a very small circle in the center of the scene. And this is very useful when shooting in on a dark, on a very dark subject, on a bright background. Um, instead of thinking that uh, the center is the most important part, uh, evaluative metering um, considers what else is in focus and where you've placed the focus point. Tapping this little button here for photography, this pops out the flash, which can be used very simply as if you're in a dark place and you can't see anything, you use the flash and there, you'll take a picture and it'll be much better looking. While Unfortunately, this cannot be used for video. For video, you'd need an external light, which have which would have to be purchased as an add-on to the camera. You're like, Andrew, I've recorded so much cool stuff, but I don't know how to like watch it back. So this is where the menu comes in. So you just tap your little menu button, and you can look through all your footage, and if you have some really god-awful footage, you can just delete it very handily, using the little trash button at the very bottom right. And and then if you use some amazing images, you can go through them and nostalgically look at, at them and see what you're going to do with them next. Oh, and that's our 10 steps done. So now you've kind of mastered the basics of, of a camera. It's, they aren't actually that hard to use. And now once you want to, now if you want to get into the more fine detailed stuff, we'll have a video coming for that very soon as well. So please look forward to that. 